Hi, this is Carrie Bible, tour guide at Hollywood Forever Cemetery, and welcome to week nine of Tour Talk. And a couple bits of housekeeping to get out of the way first. Yes, the tour is back, and I cannot tell you how great it feels to be back at work and doing what I love to do. And right now I'm doing private tours, and if you'd like to make an appointment, you can contact me on social media or look me up through my website, cemeterytour.com. I'm really hoping that by July I will be back to my normal tour schedule. So when that happens, I will announce it on this, on social media, and all over the place. So please stay tuned for that. Note that if you do book a tour, it still has to be small group. Everybody has to wear a mask, and we have to social distance. So that that's still very much the case. So sorry, my allergies are driving me nuts. Anyway. Um, next, I know the topic that's on all of your minds, and we've got to discuss right now. Close up. I got a mask that looks like little close up, which I thought was so cute. I got it at Retro A Go Go, and um, I had to wear it and wear it to the cemetery and take a selfie with close up. So I went down there and did a brief visit with him today. And close up is so funny because he does not mind posing for portraits. He does not mind posing for videos. He really hates selfies. He has a thing about them. And I've tried on a couple of occasions and it always winds up turning out to be a big hot mess. And today was certainly no exception. So yeah, I went down there with my close up face mask on and took a selfie of he and I, and I'm gonna post it later so you can see it. He looks extremely unhappy in this photo, I will warn you. Not happy with me at all. But that said, a minute later, he was happy with me because as a treat to reward him for sitting through a selfie with me, I gave him a full lunch, lots of treats, and a head scratch. So he was more than amply compensated for the, the two seconds of trouble that I put him out to. So, yeah. But he's doing really well. He's very shiny. He's very beautiful. And I love the little guy. He's my, he's my buddy. Okay. So, today I thought we would talk about some obscure stars. Don't get me wrong, I love talking about Valentino and Fairbanks and all of the big legends, of course. But there are so many people at the cemetery that had interesting lives and careers, and they just weren't household names, and they aren't remembered today, but I like to remember them, and I like to talk about them. So I thought today we'd shine a spotlight on two interesting and unique people from the silent era. The first is Leia Baird. Leia Baird was an actress and a screenwriter and a producer. She started out on the stage. Well, technically she was born June 20th, 1883. So today is her birthday. She started working on the stage and then entered film around 1910. By 1912, she was a writer as well as an actress, and she wrote a serial, and she wrote a series of social issue films. Now, this may surprise some of you, but there were some waves of social issue films throughout the teens and 20s, and you'd be surprised if you saw them by how frank and raw they can be about certain social topics. They covered issues like alcoholism, prostitution, gambling, family violence, um, all sorts of issues, actually. And Leia Baird made a series of these films that talked about issues of marriage and divorce. Two of the films were titled Don't Doubt Your Wife and Is, marriage, or Is Divorce a Failure? And when Leia was promoting Is Divorce a Failure, she went to Texas and even met with the governor of the state of Texas to talk about how they could reform divorce laws. So Leia was also an activist and an advocate for women as well. She formed her own production company, Leia Baird Productions, and she wrote The Primrose Path for silent superstar Clara Bow. At one point, Leia was completely submerged in screenwriting and producing where she took a step back from acting and ran her production company. She married a producer named Arthur Beck and eventually retired from the screen in 1934. But by 1941, she went back to film, and when she did, she wound up becoming a character actress, a bit player, an uncredited extra, and she did that from 1941 until about 1956. 
So if you think about it, Leia's career spans so much change in film history. I mean, started in about 1910, ended in 1956. So it's really amazing what she saw from silence to sound and all these different eras of filmmaking that she was a first-hand participant in. And I, I often lament the fact that I feel like I was born way too late to get to meet a lot of these extraordinary people. And Leia lived to be 88 years old, and she is interred at the Abbey of the Psalms at Hollywood Forever. Now, I couldn't find any books on Leia, and even books that cover women in silent film really barely mention her in passing or don't mention her at all, so she's still fairly obscure. But there's a really good website I would like to recommend to you. It's called Women Film Pioneers Project. I'll post a link later on, and it's a terrific website. It is written by a ton of terrific people who are academics, researchers, historians, and Leia's records are all at the Academy, primarily. And they wrote a terrific article about her. And this is one of those websites that you can just get lost in. You can log on, read about all these amazing women in film history. And next thing you know, hours and hours and hours of your life will have flown by. At least that happens to me. So I think if you want to learn more about Leia and other incredible women of film history, I highly, highly recommend this website. And the second person I'd like to talk about today is Mr. Frederick S. Melton. Now, I have a tie to this man because one of the cool things that has really given me a lot of joy doing this tour is the incredible people from around the world I have met along the way. And one of them is Frederick S. Melton's great-great-niece, and that is Wendy DeVos. Several years ago, Wendy emailed me and said that he was interred Hollywood forever, he was her family member, she was researching him, and she wanted me to show him her grave. To be honest, I had not heard of Frederick S. Melton at that time, so I immediately went about trying to figure some things out. He was born in Australia and worked on the stage, and then, like so many theater actors, he decamped for Hollywood. He didn't become a huge star, but he was a very in-demand character actor, and it was one of those things where he fit a certain archetype, if you will. He kind of looked like the stern, stately, authority figure man. And so he was cast in roles like the judge, the police officer, the father, kind of the stern, dignified authority figure type. And he had several pretty high profile credits to his name, including Lady of the Night with Norma Shearer, Kid Boots with Clara Bow, and the winning of Barbara Worth with Gary Cooper, and that's just to name a few. He worked on about 30 films in his career and died at the age of 61. And he is interred pretty close to the wall um, that faces Santa Monica Boulevard. And one year, a friend and I even made a Dia de los Muertos shrine to Fred S. Melton so that people could remember him. And Wendy is doing a lot of research on him and on the family, so I really look forward to hearing more about what Wendy will turn up, and I think I'm sure Mr. S. Melton would be very proud of her and all the great work she's doing to learn about his life and about his career. And one of the things I do want to point out is that I am always learning too. I mean, sometimes people think I have all the answers. That is so not true. <laughs> like, I learn all the time. I'm constantly watching movies, watching documentaries, reading books, talking to people, and I feel like that learning process will never stop. And I will probably never learn everything there is to learn about Hollywood forever, about Hollywood in general, about life, about many things. So, But I'm always trying. I'm always, always trying to further my knowledge and my skills and really dig into these lives and this incredible rich history. So that process will, will never end. And those are the two people I kind of wanted to talk about today. There's not a book on Fred either, but again, um, I think eventually Wendy will hopefully put together some great research for us. And that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. So 
Thank you so much for tuning in. And one of the things I enjoy so much about doing this is talking with you on Facebook or instant message or Instagram or wherever. So if you've got other people, I know some of you have already made requests. Stick with me. I will get to them. But if you have questions, if you want to request other people, if you want to chat about these stars, just just hit me up and let's talk. And it's it's just fun. And I think uh, given all of the stressful and really terrible stuff going on in the world, movies are such a great escape and such a tie that binds so many of us together. And I just love, love, love reveling in that. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is pre-recorded actually because I'm not cloning myself. I'm actually at the cemetery giving a tour probably as this airs on Facebook. But I look forward to being with you again next week and I will talk to you soon.